final part of today's Loose Women, your last chance this hour to see the question that could land you an amazing Easter nest egg of £25,000. Get this right and you could win. Best of luck. Lisa Maxwell, you're naughty. Right, we've had uh, some lovely messages come through. Uh, Cal, you've got one, haven't you? I have. This is from Jade. It's about forgiveness. It says, I think people have to suffer first, otherwise they'll just hurt you again. It's very similar to punishment for criminals. If the justice system is not strict, then they will just reoffend. Yes. Yes. True. True. That's a good point. Yeah. I've got one here um, from Lydia, and it's about wearing short skirts to work. She says she has no problem with a woman in a short skirt, but she doesn't think it sets a professional image if she wears the skirt to work. Then she says, how would we feel if a professional man had his pecs on show? Ooh. Well, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I've got a message here from Jill. I wouldn't choose to give money for a wedding present because I'd feel that I have to give more than if I was just buying present. I completely yeah. agree with you, Jill. That's true, point, that's yeah. true. And we've uh, got one here from Diane. Uh, this is about attending a wedding without a plus one. I attended a wedding on Saturday where partners were not invited. I'm single, so it was lovely not to be the only person without a partner. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just sad. <laughs> Now, at some point in our lives, we will all face tough predicaments, but hopefully none of them will be as difficult as the decision our final guest character has to make in ITV1's latest drama, The Reckoning. He and his girlfriend face an incredibly complex moral dilemma. Receive £5 million, but only if his girlfriend can bring herself to kill a man who deserves to die. Please welcome Max Beasley. <laughs> We've ever it's had. a lovely woo. What a lovely woo. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about the, the reckoning. You're working with the lovely Ashley Jensen. Yeah, Ashley, uh, which is fantastic because we live out in California together and we've always wanted to do something. We and, live um, together? Yes, we do. She's married, obviously, and the husband doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, we both live out in California. Hello, nice yeah. to see you. Yeah. Um, we both live out in California. We've always wanted to do something together, and this this project yeah. came up, and um, we we really fancied it. You know, is it it's filmed over here? It's not an American. Yeah, job. we shot it in London in October and November in okay. Elephant and Castle in nice. freezing. Very cold. similar to California. It's lovely, <laughs> Elephant and Castle. And, and what's the story? Um, well, basically. Uh, um, Ashley plays a woman who gets left all this money and the, 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 the one question, the thing that she has to do is to kill somebody and then we work out the guy that she's asked to kill is actually a really nasty chap and um, it's that moral dilemma of weighing mm. it all up and, and it's just playing on that, it's an intrigue, suspense and it's a nice drama, mm. you know, if you... It looks quite closed. You know, some dramas are all sort of shouting action bang and, and explosions and stuff. That looks very tight and intense. It's more of a psychological drama, would that yeah, be right? Yeah, it is a psychological drama. The first sort of ten days were just Ash and myself in a house every single day and she had an immense amount of work to deal with, you know. And the Elephant and Castle. Yeah, it was lovely. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> but um, no, and uh, it is. It's a psychological drama. It's that's that's the way it's uh, been shot, and it's it's exciting. I loved coming home and doing something mm. gritty and real, and you know having um, horrendous catering. No, I'm joking. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> the food it was... appeals, though, doesn't it? Because it's <clears throat> the sort of question that everybody will be asking themselves. What would you do? You know, it's a huge amount of money. A lot yeah. of people in trouble. And the, the, the perpetrator that we, we were asked to kill is actually a really nasty human mm. being with uh, no morals at all. And uh, so that's what, what uh, we're into. But that's not the first time yeah, that you've had to play a part where the people at home are thinking, what would I do? Because in Mad Dogs, mm. you know, one minute it's all going well, you're all just blokes on holiday, and the next thing, bang! You've got yeah. a dead body on your hands. Yeah, we've got a dead body on our hands and we're trying to work out how, how best to get rid of one of our friends yeah. and chop him up, which is also uh, <laughs> lovely. Um, but, yeah, that was a great, great it show. It was a good and, um, series. We're doing another, we're going out Good. in June, which Must is great. Must have been a nightmare to make, the four well, of you in New York. I know, I know. <laughs> no, um, Phil, John and Mark and, and, and myself, you know, when we initially got together with the show, um, uh, we were all probably quietly concerned about everyone's ego and it could have exploded, really, in our faces, but... Did you know each other at all? We sort of... Um, I, I knew Mark, I'd worked with Mark before, and then those three guys had worked with each other a lot on different shows, State of Play and, and, and Hustle and, and Bits and Bobs, and then... But when we met initially, we, we all started doing the work week one and, and uh, we wanted to do 
good work and we really got on with each other and uh, it was great. I was going to ask if it was worse working with a group of guys than if women had been in that situation because look we come in here every day we get on. Yeah boom well there you go. <laughs> For an hour. <laughs> You've got a very important day coming up on Saturday. Congratulations. Yes, Can you remember Manchester what it is? United and Manchester City <laughs> semi final. Come on, United! <laughs> Come on, no, oh, no! No, not that. I'm sorry, I'm 40 as well. Yeah. 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 Have you got any plans? Are you celebrating? Yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to go on the Orient Express. Oh, no! Nice. Yeah. yeah. Just the two of you? No, me and me, uh, me uh, fiance, of course, and uh, the folks, so I'm very excited. Ah. Yeah, I've always wanted to go on, on, on the train and I watched David Suchet's documentary on it and it was just lovely. Yeah. You know. Oh, when I Wasn't did. it? Oh, there you go. Boom, yeah. row number yeah. two. Well, we were talking earlier about whether you get, when you get invited to weddings, if you ever get invited by yourself, would you go or would you insist they invite your partner? Well, I think, hopefully, whoever you're inviting to your wedding, you know very, very well and you've known for many, many Told years. You. And so <laughs> you've, got, you've got to be a, a, a good judge of character and you, suspect, you, you hope that their partners are going to be beautiful beautiful as well. I mean, certainly people, when I get married... You hope their partners are going to be beautiful. Yeah, so What's you can have a bit pictures? of a knockabout on the side. You, you, when people invite you and not your girlfriend. Um, if somebody sends you, you know, your famous Max are going to invite you, maybe they're not going to invite her. It'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd go. I'd and worry. what about your wedding? Are you, is it all plus ones and kids and the whole have thing? Have you sorted yours yet? We're having a look at it. I did it all right. I, I got down on one knee and uh, uh, oh. muttered those in it. Um, four immortal words, of course, which was... <laughs> You're not, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I designed. I actually designed well, you the. Um, romantic. I, know, I designed the ring. Um, she she wanted something gold. Yes, yeah, so I got her a fish. And um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but in seriousness, I booked a table for us. It was all lovely. It was a waste of time, actually. She only potted two balls. Um, <laughs> Go on, <laughs> Is it gonna be I'm sorry. Really? It's she all sorted. No, we're gonna we're gonna um, <laughs> we're gonna have a look at it next. You, you need about twelve months, don't you, to plan these things? Yes, yeah, so I've never. I, I attempted one, attempted to plan one once, and have never done it since. It Hero, just put me off way. for life. My own wedding. Did you? Um, yeah. But I'm, you're married, aren't you? No, I've been no. with Paul for fourteen years. Oh. I don't want to rush into anything, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Max, you're just saying. She's going to arrange it, isn't she? Let's be honest. No, do you know what? We, I'm, I'm a fan of having the very, very quiet thing, like we just maybe four or five family members and that, but I also do respect what she wants, and I think it is, really, I do think it's a day for the lady, you know, and, and, and she's talking about what she wants to wear, and so I'm going to adhere to that and, and, and try and do something uh, that she wants to do. What about a list? Presents? Are you up for that? Or yeah, well money? up for that, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, is it going to be here or in America? Because you've been living in America. Probably be in the middle, so we've got Earth on bolts over. Yeah, but maybe, yeah, you know, something like that. On a cruise like ship that. in the middle of Atlantic. Yeah. Yeah. If you have it in LA, you'll have to do it LA style, you know. Oh, no, it'd be a bit embarrassing, all that. That an appropriate no, I dress. I you doing all that exchanging of vows, all those wicky-wacky Oh, wacky-woos, yeah, I mean, uh, but, um, no, I would like to do it very romantic. And because she's an absolute diamond, me, me missus, you know, she's lovely and there, uh, so Aww. she is. She is. is she an actress? No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at me like Elephant I'm Peter Sutcliffe. <laughs> acting, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she's in realty, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's in realty. Oh. And yeah. good luck with the series, The Reckoning, Reckonings, on the 18th and 19th of April, ITV One's Max Beast. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> to you as well for watching. Make sure you tune in tomorrow when Women's Hour presenter Jenny Murray will be tackling the topics of the day with us. Uh, highly unlikely we get a word in edgeways when Mel B joins us as well. We'll see you then.